we got a little bit more space. <laughs> we, no, private we have more space. Doors. It's private. There's doors on it. We have TVs in every room, um, hoping you know distract those patients. Because typically, if you have labs drawn, it's an hour wait. And that's once you're back in here, and you know, nothing to do besides stare at the walls. So I put TVs in. We have computers in every room, so nurses and physicians can document in here if they want to. We use what's called a tough book, and it's a portable computer that they can either, you know, use a stylus and write on it as they go, or they can dock it at a docking station in each room or at the nurse's station. We have um, 23 nursing uh, patient areas, um, which is... Uh, six more than we have now um, and we don't have private rooms upstairs now but we will now we have 17 private rooms which is good for confidentiality and HIPAA. This is for the employees. Yeah it is good for morale. I mean they're able to um, you know before they went into the, they had to fight to get the way into where their locker was. Now they each have their own locker. Um, it, it's got their name on it. They have their own key so it's private. They have their own private bathroom. They don't have to go out in the hallway to the public bathrooms. A lot of times during meal times, I mean we just, we have stayed very, very busy this past year and they don't get away to get meals a lot of times. But so they'll just run over and get something from the cafeteria and they're able to come back and eat back here and still be, if they need them in the department, easily can come and get them and they can be used for staffing stuff. So. It's easier to enter information with the new system because if I have several patients that are having procedures that need um, uh, video equipment that day, I can enter all their information in at the beginning instead of having to do it each time that, that a patient's coming in. Um, and the nurse actually from over at that desk can control any of the functions of any of this without having to get up and walk around to wherever any of this may be. You know, if the physician says the light's too bright, can you turn it down? Um, I need the gas at a higher rate. You know, she can do it over there instead of having to get up and walk around to wherever this is. See at a glance here where they can take a patient immediately. So they wheel them straight off of, uh, off of an uh, uh, ambulance and they bring them in and they know if these two are filled or if that one's filled. They know which way they can go uh, to get somebody into a room as quickly as possible. It's essentially a supply dispensing system uh, that's tied to individual uh, patient uh, accounts and, uh, and records. So you know exactly the supply you're getting. It's got an extra level of verification there to ensure that you're getting the correct uh, amount, the correct size, the correct whatever it might be. An OR, the air, the air that goes in there has to be sterile. I mean, skin is a, an excellent barrier to disease. And uh, when you open somebody up in an operation, they're obviously exposed to anything that happens to be there. Uh, therefore, the, the air that goes into an OR room and an ED room has to be absolutely sterile. So this is a state-of-the-art uh, HVAC system uh, specifically designed to serve an OR and an ED. It's not your typical little furnace down there that uh, pumps out a little air. It is um, a variety of components that provide uh, a very clean air supply. We used to only have two ambulance bays, now we have three. Um, they pull in, pull out, they don't have to back up. Handling. You know, that's a pretty significant amount of exhaust that's being kicked out. And so now with the much larger doors and doors on either side and a better ventilation system in here, you're not choking on exhaust that would come from a particularly enclosed space. So they've, they've addressed that pretty well.